Good morning, Tuesday the 21st of April is the date stamp. Maybe I'm a little bit early. Someone's in, who is it? Who is it? You know, it's going to be a good day if Bob's got his shorts on. Good morning, uh, Debbie from Wales. Yeah, might be some shorts today. Warning to Northumberland. Bob's in his shorts. Thank you, George. Happy 90. We're 90 today. I look quite good on it, I think. Quite good at 90. I've got a story about that, but yeah, I won't tell it. <laughs> Good morning, uh, Dawn Scout and Bob Adventure. Do this, pat ourselves on the back. We've done good. We need to do both sides just so that we get both shoulders going. <clears throat> Wales is in. Come on, Wales. Shrewsbury. So sunny. Hello Edie, Edie's in. Newcomers on our 90th birthday. Not my 90th birthday. Come on, come on. Carol from Hove is in. <laughs> Hang on two seconds, oh my God. My mum gesticulating to me for something. Sorry about this viewers. All the challenges of live presentation. Yeah. Anyway, presentating. Come on, lovely to see you all. Keep coming, there's plenty of room. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, so we need the usual weather reports, please, from around the world and any buffering to report. Brackets. We don't want to know about your polishing. Sandy Brinmeyer, Sunny in Wisbeach, thank you. Come on, who needs the BBC weather when you've got it right here? I'm looking good for 90, Sheila. I think so too. <clears throat> I used to say this, this was my opening line when I, uh, I used to do lots of talks to community groups and sometimes the community groups didn't know that I'd been invited to talk. They just thought they were going for their usual social and perhaps game of something. So when I used to turn up and I would be introduced as Bex Town is going to talk to you about exercise, the room used to fall just silent. Nobody wanted to hear me talk about that. So <clears throat> it was one of my opening gambits, you know, to, to get the to get the audience on side. My name's Bex Townley, I'm 90 next week. I think I look quite good on it. it got, yeah, crack, crack the ice. Anyway, less of those stories. <clears throat> I think we're on two minute warning. So for those of you who perhaps have tuned in for the first time and wondering what is going on here, it's the preamble, it's the pretty broadcast broadcast to get everyone in sitting or standing comfortably Get in the zone, get in the movement snack zone. Whether you've been uh, with us for five weeks or one week or one day, the common themes will run through them all. So it's really simple just to come on in and give it a whirl. Uh, sunny and get sorry, more weather. Sunny and Gateshead. Bob's in the loft. It's probably a bit cooler up there, Bob. I guess. Morning, Maddie. Hello, Killin. Room for a few more, last 30 seconds, and then we'll do the three, two, one. <clears throat> Hello, Bristol. I had another thought about Bristol this morning. Uh, as uh, several weeks ago, I, I mentioned in passing that I used to sell ice creams at the Bristol Hippodrome. 
mum decided this morning to do a, I guess that musical theme tune. So um, I was suddenly catapulted back into the Bistral Hippodrome. I didn't guess the theme tune. She was trying to, to sing late, something from Les Mis. Didn't, didn't know. So yes, very fun memories of Bristol. Harrogate. Carol from Harrogate. I don't know if we've had Harrogate before. Somerset. Yeah, we know you. Kathy Costell, Wales. Yeah. All right, it's a three, two, one. Come on, enough of this chatter. Three, two, one. Good morning. My name is Bex Townley from Later Life Training. Welcome to technically movement snack number number 90 but we did two extras so uh, by the end of today when we accumulate another 30 minutes of movement time we've hit our goal of 90 brackets two movement snacks so thank you very much for your support and uh, i hope you've enjoyed it the good news is we're keeping going with this so we'll be here again tomorrow and for the foreseeable future but <clears throat> let's just um remind everyone or introduce you to the fact that uh, these movement snacks are inspired by this activity calendar and we've covered every movement in here plus lots of extra stuff that I've been crowbarring in. Our first 10 minutes this morning focuses on mobility movements that allows you to think more about how you move and then we take those movements and crowbar them into your daily life. So we start up as always, with our circulation booster. So for this, please, a strong steady chair, if seated options is on your menu today, or um, standing support at an appropriate height for you. This first minute, this circulation booster serves to just do that, just to boost the circulation, get us ready for this movement snack and your day. So, whether you're in sit or stand, lift up taller, open up the chest, take up support if you need and start to move. Then, once we're moving, think through how you're moving. And we're after here, really specific movements through the feet and the ankles. Remember, all standing activities require mobility, strength at feet, ankles and toes. So really think about those, be really deliberate with that. Steady knees, not too high, lift and open. This length here in the posture is what we've been talking about a lot. As and when you feel confident and comfortable, alternating arms or two arms together. Keep going if that's your standing option. If you haven't already, in the seated options, hip walk forward, mobilizing hips, lift up, open up through the chest, and we too can start and focus on ankles, feet and toes. If if an option for you. If lower limb, feet, ankles and toes is not an option, start point is through the shoulders, bringing in both arms when you can and bringing the hands together might be an option for you that helps guide the movement, helps get a little bit more movement through the, the, the backward movement of the shoulder and all of this is at a rhythmical pace, comfortable for you. Select what is the best option arms and legs together, just legs or just arms, and it's the same in stand. This is a minute, a minute and a bit, and after that we take a pause and you should feel that you probably need to take one, one or two deeper breaths, but you certainly feel that that movement has done the job of boosting circulation. Now I'm going to work through a whole body mobility routine of all our major moving parts, starting with the shoulders. Sit or stand, you choose. Take up support if you need. Feel balanced, strong and steady through the feet. And we just start to lift and raise the shoulders. I'm going to come a little bit closer so you can see. Head stays still. Now feel this movement. Feel how the shoulders come up and back and down. And you might want to pause after each one. So these are single movements. Each one is as big as you can comfortably make it with control. And 
I want you to feel it. How does that feel for you? How does it feel? Are you aware how you are on each shoulder? Do you feel you have more movement in one shoulder than the other? This is usual. We all have these um, differences in left side and right side, but just feel it. Everything we do in daily life that re uh, requires arm movements, all those activities of daily living, need shoulders. We need shoulders. Okay, moving up from shoulders, in sit or stand. I'm only here so that you can see closer. Uh, it's a head turn. Have a look, and then pick it up when you see it. Have a look. On all these mobility movements, slow, controlled, Feel your way around this. No speed, no momentum. And if you want some extra points on this one, chin level to floor, it's a definite left and right look with a pause in the middle. And it keeps moving, comes back, it only stops in the middle. How does that feel? All whilst lifted and open through the posture. So even if you sit, keep the length. If you start to tire in the middle, have a rest. We call this a pit stop and then start again. So we're looking to optimise, get the best possible movement from the neck on this best possible posture. Next movement, I'm going to turn sideways to my best side. No comment. Fingertips on the chin, this gives you a, a bit of a, just bit of a guide to then squeeze the head back. It's a little press, it might feel quite small, that's okay. Just because it's a small range of movement doesn't mean it's not significant. And we've talked about this one over the weeks. Really depends on your current posture, how you currently hold your head in daily life, as to how big that movement is. But as you can see, we're looking to mobilise so that we can lengthen and better place the head on top of the shoulders so that days of, uh, activities of daily living can become less effortful and uh, more comfortable. So that's our three mobility movements for this kind of triangular area here that requires head turning, gaze, functional, reach, grab, grasp. Let's come down, down to the nitty gritty, this, bit, this, this column here, the trunk. For these ones in standing, take the feet slightly wider. For these ones in seated, hip walk forward, anchor the feet and anchor the buttocks also. And you may need some support if you're in stand. We don't want to challenge balance here. We want to get as much movement as we can. So this is our trunk turn or trunk twist or rotation. Here in standing, you can see I'm using the support. This can help give me that confidence to turn the trunk and turn the head slowly with control on a really solid and strong bottom half. Arms, just take them with you. Just, just allow them. To, to be there, relax down to the side, or you may feel supporting them can help with that movement. And it's exactly the same in seated. Buttocks are really strong, you can give them an extra squeeze if you want to get anchoring your buttocks to the chair, and we're taking the turn around, as if you're turning to look over shoulder. If you need to take a, a <clears throat> pit stop in the middle, please do so, and if you want to take your hands with you. If we're going to turn in daily life, probably because our hands and arms need to get there as well. So just allow these to, do what, to, to go where they want to go. Lift and lengthen and just feel each time you turn, how far you're turning, turning with control. No speed, no momentum, don't force it. Four or five of these in each direction is just sufficient to mobilize the spine. The next trunk movement is our side bends. Have a look at this. If you know what's coming, for sure, just carry on with this. Again, wider feet, buttocks anchored. So this really strong uh, base of support can support balance. And, and that's, e that's important, as important in seated also, is the bend coming up to the center. You might want to put your hands on arms of chair if you have them. Fingertips on the chair, just to give you that a little bit more confidence if you'd like. Back up to centre, take a pause. And I'm just going sideways. And can you see this movement is, is everything about our functional reach. So the turn and the side bend together is everything we need to, again, to re reach, grab, grasp, lift, 
all these movements work together. Take a pause, just to show you, uh, give you a reference in standing. In standing, because I'm moving the head and, and reaching the, the trunk away, it has potential to challenge balance to a lesser or greater degree. And that's why this foot position can really help support confidence so that we can focus on movement. We're not after big, huge, extreme ranges of movement. Just what is usual and comfortable. Feel your way around this side bend. Just feel your way around it. We're mobilising. We're just getting moving. <clears throat> the third critical movement of the trunk is the, the, uh, the extension, the upright bits. And we've talked over the weeks about how we spend a lot of time potentially flexed doing activities of daily living, working, especially now at the moment with home working. So we're looking <clears throat> to mobilise and lift open the posture. Again, it's directly linked to all activities of daily living. Get your balance and stand. In stand, have your hips fairly close. This gives you a good reference point so that when I take the extension, I know that I'm definitely not thrusting the hips. And standing close to a table or wall or surface can help with that. So I come up to upright and then there's an extra squeeze and it comes straight back out. Doesn't stay there. Lift upright plus an extra squeeze and come back out. And if you want to give yourself an extra guide, that can help. Helps really fix the hips and the legs. And it's exactly the same in seated. Lift up, the first bit is key, I'm lengthening from here, plus an extra extension. And if you wanna put your hand around here, this offers an extra guide, and you get an extra bonus shoulder, shoulder mobility in there, if you would like. So that's our three critical trunk actions that all form part of daily living. Um, now, can I ask for, if you're in seated option, so I'm hip walking, you're just going to hip walk forwards, lift and shift at the hips, bring the feet with you if that's an option, if that's available, and in stand we're just going to take an extra bit of circ boost, even more focus on ankles, feet and toes, because our last mobility actions are for ankles, so this gives us a, an extra bit of circulation boosting, get the ankles and feet ready for ankle mobility. Now in seated, there's two options, have a look. The first option is with the, the, the backside forward in the chair. Have a glance down if you need to. Look ahead if you can. But it's always good to have a look to see what's going on so that we can be sure that we're doing what we're after, which is this really strong ankle movement. And I wear socks in this morning routine just to, to, for you to see what's happening with my feet and get, get the toes involved in that as well. If that's not an option for you, there's another one. We can take the, the press and the flex here. We're trying to get as much extension through the top of the feet as we can, plus the toes. Four or five of those on each. If feet aren't an option, rehearsing this hip walk, hip walk in and out. In stand, the ankle mobility is exactly the same. Hand on support, not looking for a balance challenge here, so use external support. Here's the ankle mobility, but hopefully, as you can feel, I've got a lot of stuff going on in this hip as well. It's helped, I'm essentially stood, stood on one leg, so I've got some, some functional strength going on. This is the standing option. If you're comfortable with this option, and you have hip, hip, knee and ankle working together without concern for balance, we can take that into our deliberate functional step. Planting the heel, exaggerate the toe raise. So we're crowbarring in a sneaky toe raise here. Here's the heel raise in its, in its most functional turn. So all the heel raises and toe raises that we've been crowbarring into our daisies are for this fundamental reason. It's how we walk. Just to finish, just to uh, give you uh, an option of some extra things to crowbar in, Let's crowbar in uh, heel raises um, and maybe play around with the, the speed on that today. So take some slow up and some slow, 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 slow down. Remember, even more strength gains in the, in the bag if we slow it down. 
but we also need some power down in feet and legs as well. So after you've done some slow, 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 try some with a little, a little bit of oomph, a little injection of power on the way up. And that's exactly the same in seated. Slower down, but also take some with power. Also take some quick feet if you can, or also take some buttock squeezes. So crowbarring, heel raises and toe raises into your daisies. Jockey lifts and sit to stands when you can. We've accumulated these little catchphrases. We have been here 90 times, so this is kind of what it does to you. Lovely to see you all still here. Um, back at 12, it's gonna be a nice day, so I, may, I might need to put out a, an extra special call to lure you in at midday. Thank you, everyone. See you at 12. If I don't see you at 12, if other stuff's happening, see you at four. Remember, all these are just movement snacks, accumulating time. So take all those movements into your day, folks. They're free, in the benefits bag. It's a bag for life.